beautiful people, and we are back for Vlogmas Day 14. Is the 14th today? Yeah, the 14th is today. Child, I had to replan my video because originally it was supposed to be a versus recap, but the versus got canceled, postponed to January. So I had to fill in a different topic, and sure enough, this morning I got my topic. So if you're a little Knicks fan, you got the sad news today. Jesse Nelson had decided to leave the group after nine years. She said that after taking a break for her mental health, she realized that he was best for her and was healthy and that the purchase of being in a girl group was really taking a toll on her. And she has to make the right decision. The girls completely understand. They made a joint announcement on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Jesse did her announcement first and then the group did their announcement with photos of them. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the comments were as expected because Jesse was one of the two. Like her and Leanne are the two people that get bullied the most when it comes to the group because Je Jesse has always been labeled as the fake girl of the group. And you know, that's really took a mental health toll on her. We saw her series about how she's dealt with her weight struggles and her mental health. And just the comments alone and there are reasons why people leave these groups and leave their you know careers even if they're solo is because they have to deal with that pressure of being in the group and the bullying that goes online it sucks and it's not okay and you won't want to stay somewhere where you're being treated like that and i totally understand that heck you guys that are in the julian the phantoms fandom Y'all driving that cat crazy to the point where they probably don't want to come back for a season two. So I commend Jesse for doing what is best for her. There is the conversation of can Little Mix keep going after this? Now there's currently three of them. You know, we see them, you know, work as a trio when Jesse was on break. And you know, it's been fine. It's just that missing piece there. And you remember, it's been nine years they've been together. So the fact that Jesse is now gone, it's just, it's weird. I'm sorry, y'all had to burp. It's just a change that is gonna take some adjusting. And it also leads to the question, can they make it this long? Now, the last couple of years to them has not been easy from the labels, from the treatment of the label that they had to do with Psycho to the switch to RCA to the complete mismanagement that RCA is doing with them in their career. I love the Confetti album. I just didn't think it was promoted like an average album would under RCA. And I know it's the UK division, so I don't know how they run it over there. But I feel like they, they've been put in just a local sphere, just the Europe side of the world. And you know, they have so much, so many fans in the US that it's just like, dude, we want to support y'all, but where y'all at? Where are you guys on the American TV interviews? Where are you guys at the award shows? Where are you guys in regards to promotion and then the radio shows? Just like, did y'all forget about us? Like, we know we, they didn't forget about us. It's just the, the team and the management, they're the ones behind where they get to market and promote. And you know, in my honest opinion, I think we maybe have one more album with the three of them. It's kind of, you know it's crazy? This is so similar to Fifth Harmony, and Fifth Harmony is actually trending when this announcement broke because literally this reminded everybody of when Camila went solo. Because literally, this is literally what today the 14th, four years ago, almost four years to the day, December 16th was when Camila made the announcement that she was leaving Fifth Harmony. Now, four years later, two days before the four year anniversary, Jesse Nelson's announcing that she's leaving Little Mix. So it. The parallels is just nuts. So it's just like, damn. I mean, Camila left for different reasons, but from Jesse, but child, the fact that we lost two major girl groups in the span of four years, it's just like, oh God. Like the fact that two girl groups have to lose a member and then it's around that same time period, it's like, damn, the irony. Cause they used to be pitted against each other all the time because they're on the same label. So it's like, damn. I mean, how long, how long how longer do we got with Little Mix? And I know there's other groups. We have Blackpink, we have other groups coming, Citizen Queen, you know, sooner or later they're gonna pop up with another group that they wanna market. It's just like, damn. 
Little Mix is one of the last like girl groups of my generation, like who I grew up with. So I'm like, damn, this is really, this really just sucks. I'm just sad, but I'm happy Jessie is doing what she wants to do. It just is the end of an era when you think about it. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. I know it's it's ratchet right now that I'm shooting in my bathroom, but I'm adjusting to so many different things. Christmas season is just a lot. I've been working for days and I just got my schedule. I'm working the week of Christmas. The only days I'm not working is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The rest of that week I'm working. So <laughs> oh, I'm hopefully I can pre-record my videos so I can upload them while I'm at work. So let's let's just just pray for me. I promise you guys I'm gonna deliver this year. Anyways, your girl peace out. My love. Have a great night. Bye.